Uh, today we are going to discuss transportation projects metrics. Okay, so what do we mean with project metrics? Basically, project metrics are measurements for the project progress and or performance based on the project goals and critical factors for success. That's the definition of project metrics. مقاييس المشاريع. ماشي يا شباب؟ مقاييس المشاريع بنستخدمها to measure the progress or performance okay, of the project goals and uh, uh, critical factors for success. Okay. Uh, classification of project metrics. How can we classify the project metrics? Project metrics can be classified into two main categories value based and benefits based. Okay, value based that means it is it has a, a, a tangible and returnable uh, uh, monetary value. Okay, benefits based it doesn't have a directly calculatable monetary value. For example, traffic safety projects, it saves a human life. Can we put a monetary value on human life? No. But we can measure, we can have a metric, okay, that is based on benefits. Okay. Uh, project metrics used to measure project success. That's one. Okay. So, what are the key parameters? in project metrics يعني العناصر الأساسية اللي بتدخل في تكوين مقاييس المشاريع صفاتها ايه what are the attributes of these uh, uh, key parameters first of all the parameters must be relevant to project objective related to the project objective and relevant to it that's number one number two it must be quantitative value and supported with real data. That means the parameters, performance parameters, okay, or the, the parameters in the metric should be hmm, uh, something measurable. Okay, for example, travel time, this we can measure it. Okay, number of accidents, we can, we can calculate it, we can, you know, have a record of it. It's based on real data, correct? A uh, number of fatalities, Okay, that's a real data that we can co collect. Okay, number three, it should be accurately measurable. Can be measured accurately, not estimated or speculated. No estimations and speculations. However, sometimes we end up with estimating some values, but not speculating. If it's speculated, then it's not a valid parameter. Uh, it's you know it becomes a kind of uh, a subjective measure not quantitative measure can be normalized okay so in order for 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 a value to be you know comparable to other uh, values it can be normalized or you know uh, bare unit or bare something let's have an example identify parameters needed to develop performance metrics for traffic project traffic safety project can can any of you suggest parameters that we can include in this uh, uh, performance uh, uh, metrics metric for traffic safety project حد يا شباب يقترح ايه البارامترز اللي ممكن نحطها هنا Okay. Uh, there is one mark bonus for who's going to start with uh, with uh, with a good parameter. Okay, Abdulaziz, go ahead. ممكن يا دكتور numbers of lane كم في lane ممكن هذا يتحكمون. I don't think the number of lanes are relative to traffic safety project. We want something to measure performance, okay, for a traffic safety project. Doctor, ممكن Doctor. Okay, hold a second. Abdulaziz, can you try again? Uh, 
اوكي نيكست دكتور ممكن الاكسيدنت ريت في الـ يعني الطريقه اللي احنا نبي نسوي لها ديفلوبمنت اوكي نمبر اوف اكسيدنتس That's good. Okay, so it reflects number of accidents reflects project objective. It's a traffic safety project, so our objective is to improve safety. And how can we improve safety by reducing number of accidents? So number of accidents could be a, a, a parameter, parameter for uh, the performance of the metric of the of the project. What else? Uh, can I answer, Doctor? Go ahead. Uh, less congestion. If there isn't lots of traffic, uh, less accidents will happen. Less congestion. Okay. So, how can you link between congestion and traffic safety? Uh, if you add more lanes, uh, the cars would be spread out more. Okay. And they are going to spread out more, and they are going to drive faster. Okay, then they might have more. Actually, it was found that you know uh, most of accidents does not occur during congestion. During congestion, what the kind of accidents that takes place are basically fender bender. You know, you know what's fender bender? That's when a car stops suddenly, then a car another. Okay, in this in the situation of stop and go. So, you know, you see one, you know, another car hitting another car from the back at a slow speed. So just it's bending the fender of the uh, front car. So it's not that severe accidents. But most accidents occur at high speed when we don't have congestion. So the only benefit of congestion, it improves safety. You get that? Yes, yes. Okay. So... Number of accidents. What else can we use? Actually, number of a number of accidents is kind of a, 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 a very wide uh, coverage of all accidents. As I mentioned, it covers severe accidents. Okay, that might result in fatalities or bodily injuries, and also it covers, uh, you know. Uh, very light accidents like fender benders, for example. Okay. Yes, Abdulaziz, go ahead. Uh, doctor, can I say <coughs> uh, the volume of the cars, the vehicles, like uh, uh, when the volume of the cars is much uh, higher, then we probably we will have accident. No, again, if we have congestion, okay, the speed will slow down drivers will slow down and usually a uh, uh, severe accidents does not occur during congestion okay so i think we can add here number of fatalities due to Accidents. So, we can say number of fatalities and uh, bodily injuries. Oh, the number of fatalities is sufficient. So, we can we can have a count of this. When Mahadr al Hawadis, we have a few result report. We can get the number of fatalities due to vehicle accidents. تمام؟ so here this this parameter is uh, is uh, is more concise than uh, number of accidents. so that's one major indicator and it it can be quantify uh, uh, qu it is quantitative yes is it measurable yes. now to the fourth criteria normalized how can we normalize this? How can we make it, you know, comparable? We find the yeah, uh, average number of accidents and fatalities. 
average number of accidents and fatalities. You no, know, we, we can use either average number of accidents or average number of fatalities. Let's go with the fatalities now. So what do you mean with the average? We take the total number and divide it by uh, the number of accidents over a month period or so. Okay. Okay, so what what does this indicate? Uh, percentage of severe accident. accidents or fatalities. And I okay, said that here number of accidents per month. Number of fatal accidents. Per total accidents okay that's a good uh, one but it gives here what indication for severity of accidents okay ده بيدينا مؤشر على مدى حده الحوادث اللي بتحصل تمام طب لو قلنا هير if we say here number of fatalities per capita okay for example if we say that we have in uh, in uh, country a we have 10000 fatalities and we have a population of 30 million and in country b we have 20 uh, you know, we have, uh, I said, how much? 10,000. Uh, 1,000, okay, and we have uh, 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 30 million. If we have another country that we have 2,000 fatalities and we have 100 million, which one is better? I country think, uh, sorry, 2,100 million. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's a percentage. It's, it's, you know, so it can be normalized per capita. Okay. This is good normalization. Okay. So here we are dividing per capita. Okay. Can we have a better indicator? Uh, we can, uh, on a national level, like compared to other uh, provinces or cities. Mm. We can divide it by uh, miles traveled. يعني عدد الكيلومترات اللي الناس بتمشيها. يعني مثلاً say. Uh, okay, uh, if you live in Bahrain, okay, you don't have much uh, driving to do, so you are not exposed that much. Okay, but if you drive in, in Saudi Arabia, you there's a lot of mileage to travel, so the mileage per person is much higher than the mileage per person in uh, Bahrain or in uh, Qatar, for example. Okay, so the number of fatalities is linked to the length of the trip because the length of the trip that's your exposure to accidents. Okay, so if we divide number of fatalities to uh, number of miles traveled, okay, total miles, this is even better than dividing per capita. You see, so there is, a, you know, that's what we call what we mean with normalization. دكتور سؤال بس yes. بالنسبة للنمبر فتاليتيز على المايل هل هذه تنطبق على جميع الموت شويس ولا على موت شويس محدد؟ آه لا لا على كار فيكلز بس جاست كارز now we're talking about cars okay so that was a good example let's go to the next example here okay now, identify parameters needed 
to develop metric for speed enforcement project. For example, like, you know, we want to put uh, Saher cameras. So how can we measure the performance? We collect data from uh, before and after. We put, uh... Good, excellent. Before and after. Excellent. So what do we do with that? Hmm. We, we measure. We measure the. No, no, the uh, let, let him finish, yeah, uh, ones. Uh, I believe we divide uh, the value of uh, accidents before, uh, over after, and we get the percentage. If you want okay. uh, numerical value. But we are not talking about accidents. We are talking about speed enforcement. Yes. What, what does he want? A quantitative. Uh, yes. Which one is the doctor, between the number and the number. If it is better, it is better that it هذا الاكسدنت ريت بعد ما حطينا احنا ما بنتكلمش على اكسدنتس وير نوت توكينج اباوت اكسدنتس وير توكينج اباوت سبيد انفورسمنت ايوه بس يعني هي مش لينك يعني ممكن هاير سبيد اوكي ذاتس بس ذس از كايند اوف ان اندايركت يو نو ميجر اتس نوت ا دايركت ميجر يو سي ماي بوينت Yes. It's a side, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, yani, we want to, to see whether the new technology or the, the speed enforcement project resulted in the, the, the objective. The objective is reducing speed. ممكن نشوف الترافيك دكتور في المنطقة اللي احنا حطينا فيها الانفورسمنت. Okay. كيف صار الترافيك بعد يعني السرعة المحددة. What do you, what do you mean, what do you mean with that? Can you be more يعني, uh, precise? Yeah, sure. يعني, for example, if the limit was 100 km per hour and then we reduce it to like 90 or 80, we measure uh, how it affected the traffic volume or, or how No, no, people... speed enforcement does not mean that. Speed enforcement means that we have a, a, a highway, okay, that there, there was no any uh, speed enforcement on that so we have a speed limit and usually drivers are driving at their own uh, you know uh, speeds so when we have speed enforcement that means we install uh, speed cameras on that highway okay so we want now to measure its impact or uh, its performance you see my point yes yes I think so it's, uh, who, who's, who mentioned before and after? Uh, uh, Gandhi, I think. Ah, before and after. Then what? We can measure, okay, percent reduction in average speed. But you are not explaining it, you know, precisely. We meet. Oh, أنا 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 غلط قلت إنه تقسم before or after. بس أنا كان قصد إنه كان يطلع speed حقه في النهاية. We okay. We need to measure the percentage of reduction in average speed. Okay. Number. Oh, we can say reduction in the. 85th percentile speed okay or a uh, reduction in number of speed violators tamam okay Type. How can we normalize it to be easy to compare? 
تمام هو مبدئيا this one is normalized already because it's a ratio you see my point reduction in uh, 85th percentile speed also it's a ratio it's it's not uh, it's uh, reduction in number of speed violators this must be normalized then i did a rakam adad mukhalfin tamam so this must be normalized يبقى هنا ايه divide by number hold a second هو ايه ده اوكي سبحان الله so divide by volume Okay, so here we can say percentage. Now this one becomes percentage of violators. Maya Shabab, so that's another A example. Let's have another example. Identify parameters needed to develop metric for transportation network improvement project. Hmm. Ideas? Uh, I think uh, this is where we measure uh, congestion, right? Hey, you are good. But we are talking about network-wide. Not highway specific. I think we measure uh, how many people use this uh, specific network. Okay. And uh, compared to other network, how we can improve it? As in travel time or traffic or. Okay. Then here, to be specific, hmm, we can measure average. travel time on network links on the highways we can measure the average travel time okay our network our total travel time on the network Okay. okay okay are these two parameters correct uh, i think the second one is not uh, accurate because it differs sometimes why that's good but why because uh, let's say one day or uh, like on fridays uh, Okay, we're going to mention that we are doing this weekday, big hour, morning, big hour. Yeah, Spec yeah. So we take the average, like... Uh, but the issue here, who, who is speaking? Uh, I am Fahad, doctor. Fahad, the problem here, Fahad, is, is it measurable easily? The total is not uh, easy to be measurable. Average, uh, oh. yes. Okay, the average... Uh, travel time on network links yes we can sample it yeah. okay so this can be measured but this one is basically an estimation معناها ايه؟ it might have error. Okay, so this one is an estimation and is not highly reliable. This one 
is much better okay Tai, how can we normalize it in order to, okay we see average travel time on the network on network links blah 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 okay so we can measure the difference or the the change change in average travel time the change we you know that will be good but how can we normalize it hmm? for 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 comparison how can we normalize it doctor sorry but uh, what, what do you mean by normalization Montez. Okay, when we say that there is a reduction five minutes in uh, in uh, in the link on the average travel time, okay, uh, or uh, in the you know uh, here average, okay, I think average by itself is normalized, or it's not norm normalized. Do you mean by normalization like fixed? No, that. You know, normalization makes it comparable. We can compare uh, ah, things okay. together. Uh, okay. So we can see before and after. Uh, not exactly. Okay. If we say, for example, that we have uh, ten accidents this month, okay, and we have an, another country ten accidents, are these? We can see. Okay, we are equal. Is this correct statement? Not really. No. But if we say that we, okay, we have 10 accidents or, you know, a, a, a 0.1 accident per capita. If we divide it by something, so we have, you know, per something. Yes. Okay. If we want to measure or normalize the change in average travel time, for a, a, a project so we can compare projects together okay for normalization we can use a project cost واضح بحيث يبقى هنا Uh, بنقسم ال benefits in travel time بير uh, 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 بير cost يعني كده we are saving you know this amount of travel time for uh, one for, for بير ريال okay or بير dollars okay how much we are saving travel time you see my point yes يعني if we are comparing مثلا two projects okay Then one project it cost me 10 million and it affect travel time by say uh, uh, five minutes and I have another project that cost 20 million and affect average travel time by four minutes. Which one is better? Of course the 10 million one. Hmm? The 10 million one. Yes, because you are dividing huh, the savings and time by the cost. You see my point? Any questions? Okay, that's good. So now we move to the structure. Okay, how can we structure the metric? Okay, and actually I'm gonna stop here and uh, next tomorrow, inshallah, we're gonna continue on uh, the structure to discuss it. Okay? Any questions so far? No, doctor, thank you. All clear, doctor, thank you. Okay, okay shukran. Thank you all. Yalla, assalamu alaikum. Doctor. Hold a second.